Today on Comic Storian, it's time for Daredevil to see what it's like to have a symbiote chase him down, attack him, and consume him. This is Comic Storian, where I take a lot of your favorite trade paperbacks and I break them down into digestible bites. We tell you the core storyline, cut out a lot of the B-plot, and we tell you long-winded storylines like this Daredevil one that went 37 issues. The story's amazing, and I want you to know what happened in it. And if you want to go get the issues yourself for the incredible art, or get more context to it with the B-plots, then make sure you go pick it up with the link down below. All alterations to the panel sex and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. So today we're going to be covering Daredevil issues number 26 and 27. These are contained within volume 6 if you're buying the books. At this time... Matt Murdock is now in prison for accidentally killing a man. While he was gone, Elektra has decided to become the brand new Daredevil. But on one of her first days as Daredevil, a little event within Marvel happened. It was called King in Black, and the god of the symbiotes arrived and began to spread symbiotes throughout the city, trying to conquer it with basically venom-like monsters all over the place. So you're going to get to see Elektra on one of her first days dealing with that, while Matt is dealing with that in the prison. Let's get into the storyline. Daredevil can hear them. He sits quietly in general population in the local prison system, unable to let them know that he is blind. So he turns away books and television, and instead, he sits listening to the stories of those trapped behind the bars with him. You're creeping me out, man, a voice calls out to him, and he turns as a large man walks towards him. Marcus waves around, informing him that just sitting around and staring at everyone is making them uncomfortable. That they already don't like him, since his kind put most of them in there. Daredevil apologizes and stands to head towards his cell. Don't worry, you'll be out of here soon. Marcus tells him, and Daredevil tries to argue, tries to explain that he deserves to be there, but Marcus shakes his head. You serving your full term is a fantasy. But the conversation is cut short as the guards arrive, informing Daredevil that the warden wants to see him. With that, he's brought into the man's office and stands before his desk. And the warden introduces himself. But Daredevil already knows who he is. Took down his son when he was acting as the villain known as Crime Wave. The warden waves it off informing him that he holds no ill towards the hero for taking down his son. My son was hurting people and needed to be brought to justice. Just like you. The warden tells him with a slight smile. But Daredevil can sense the change in his heartbeat. Daredevil's eyes widen slightly then as he realizes that Marcus was wrong. The only way that he's going to be getting out of this prison is in a body bag. In the city, Electra stands on a rooftop surveying her neighborhood as she is now the owner of all of Hell's Kitchen. Her eyes are drawn skyward as an alien screech fills the night, and she looks up to see a massive black dragon descending out of the sky, heading towards a group of people. At the fundraiser, Mayor Fisk is pulled away from a group of people by Wesley, who informs them that the event that they had been warned about has begun. The King in Black is conquering New York City as they speak, and the Avengers are working hard to remove the threat but there are venomous black dragons flying through the sky. With that, they rush outside towards their limo. Typhoid Mary is still acting as Wilson's bodyguard, but another black dragon symbiote roars down upon them, its symbiotic back opening up to unleash Null's army upon the city. The guards open fire and Mary leaps into the fray. Get him out of here, Wesley! She shouts as she draws her swords, Fisk trying to shout as he reaches for Typhoid Mary. Gunfire erupting all around them as his guards begin to fall, but the car begins to pull away as the black tendrils begin to wrap around her and the voices begin as Null speaks to her. What if Daredevil had venom? Meanwhile, in his cell, Matt awakens, sensing something in the prison. He pulls on his mask, heading towards the cell door, shouting for the guards. Something's in the prison! He shouts, and they turn in fear as the black goo appears on the floor. They open fire, but the rounds do nothing. The guards and the prisoners are quickly overtaken. Let me out! I can help! They'll kill you! Matt shouts at them. Meanwhile, over in Hell's Kitchen, 16-year-old Annie storms out of the bar that she was hiding in when her foster mother found her. She doesn't want to listen and feels that her foster mother doesn't care about her. But as she storms out onto the streets, the creatures attack. She falls back as one of the monsters grabs her mother, the tendrils taking over her body and her mind. Alice! She hisses as she is now consumed by the symbiote. Don't go, my love! I have such plans! She growls at her and Alice turns running in fear, but the monster that was her mother catches her. 
pulling her in close, offering her the love of Null, the king in black. And Daredevil is there, cracking the monster across the jaw, knocking her back. Electra asks if she's there. Can you run, girl? And she pulls Alice to her feet, pushing her further down the alleyway, ordering her to hide amongst the garbage to hide her scent. With that, Electra keeps moving, knowing that she needs to stop this monster and help the others. She quickly finds an abandoned car driving forward, slamming the woman into the wall. Meanwhile, back in the prison, Matt yells out, Damn it! Listen to me! Still trying to get the guards to release him. When one finally does, his hand shakes as he gets the keys to the lock, and one of the symbiotes snarls behind him. Who defies our lord, Null? I do, Matt says, as he leaps to the banister, dropping amongst them, grabbing a nightstick, twirls it around, throwing it into one of the monster's heads, knowing that he is way out of his depth. Daredevil doesn't fight symbiotes. Back over in Hell's Kitchen, the neighborhood is a war zone, as Electra and Alice are dashing through the streets, still being chased by Alice's mother. The girl stumbles and Electra turns back to her. She draws out her blunted size, promising the girl will not die, as she turns to face the mother. Pardon me, but Typhoid Mary would like a word with the daredevil. Mary shouts as she leaps amongst them, her face twisted by the symbiote that she is bonded with, her laughter echoing throughout the streets. Back over in the prison, Matt keeps fighting, leaping and kicking amongst the monsters, but it isn't enough. The goo wraps around his body as one of his punches connects. It consumes him, and he hears the voice of Null. I am Null. It is time. The Dark God growls. Matt tries to fight, but Null begins to bond with him. You are a man without fear, and I am pure power. As one, we are unstoppable. Null says to him, his face coming out of the symbiote that is bonded with Matt Murdock. Back over in Hell's Kitchen, Mary twists her head around, staring at Electra as Daredevil, who stands to protect Alice from both monsters. I'll kill you both, but only one of you is on my list, Daredevil! She hisses, but Alice's mother steps in the way, knowing that Null deserves servants, and attacks Mary. Alice begins to ask a question to Daredevil, but she turns, pushing the girl away. Shut up and run! Electra yells at her, and they keep moving, moving through the construction zone. Electra pushes the girl forward, ordering her to hide in the nearby building. I'm gonna make sure nobody follows, Electra says as she pulls out her grappling hook and leaps up onto the construction equipment. Meanwhile, over in the prison, Matt keeps fighting, pushing Null's influence out of himself, using his faith in God to fight this devil within him. He roars in anger as he gets control of his body again, beginning to fight the others that have been taken over by the symbiotes. But one of them tears off a cell door, throwing it at Matt. But he leaps over it and redirects it at another monster. As he continues to fight, another sneaks up behind him, stunning him with a loose electrical wire. Back over in Hell's Kitchen, Mary calls out, Daredevil, come out and play! As she claws her way into the construction site, but she stops looking up as Electra comes swinging down on a crane, slamming a steel support into the woman, throwing her into the wall. She stops to take a breath and looks up as she hears Alice scream from the nearby building. Electra begins to run towards that scream, cursing her for not letting the girl keep running. She flips up through the construction zone, finally arriving at where Alice's mother is holding her up promising that Null will be with them soon. If she just lets a symbiote take her, then Alice and her mother will be together forever. Electra draws her sigh, wondering how she's supposed to stop this monster. How would Matt possibly stop a symbiote? But glass shatters as Mary comes flying into the window, her blades slicing through the mother's chest, killing her. Electra moves forward, her fist slashing out, slamming into typhoid Mary, consumed by a symbiote. Run, girl! She wants me! Electra shouts to Alice. Back over in the prison, Matt whirls around, knocking the symbiotes out, defeating them. The guards open fire on him, their guns doing nothing as Matt grabs them, slapping them away. Daredevil, you idiot, just go! Marcus shouts as he comes out of his cell, motioning to the hole in the wall that the monsters created. But Matt snaps out of his rage, his mind suddenly starting to work again. He stomps into another room, finding an old electric chair just sitting there, and he smashes through the window, strapping himself in, fitting the helmet to his head. He reaches out with a tendril, trying to pull the lever to activate the device, but he can't control the symbiote anymore. In his mind, all he can see is Null striding towards him, about to completely consume Matt Murdock. No one can fight forever, except those who live forever. Null smiles at him, that twisted and dark smile. But Marcus is in the room, 
He pauses as he stares at Daredevil in shock for a moment. The monster smiles at him, and Marcus pulls the lever. Electricity surging through the symbiote, ripping it apart and freeing Matt Murdock, who falls to the floor. Forever is easy, if you have faith. Matt whispers as Marcus runs over to him. Back with Electra, Mary throws her through a wall, but she rolls up quickly, blood leaking from several wounds as she wonders how Matt would even do this. How he just punches until the monsters fall. And that's when she realizes she can't do that. She isn't Matt. She needs to think like Electra. She stops as Mary rushes at her again, slamming into her, throwing her out the window. And then Daredevil plummets to the ground, slamming hard into a car. She doesn't move. And Mary leaps down, standing over Electra as a Daredevil, breathing her in. No breath, no life. I did it for Wilson. Typhoid Mary growls. And with her work done, she leaps off into the night to do more of Null's bidding. From the darkness, Alice moves towards the lifeless body of Electra, not knowing what to do. But Electra sits up with a gasp, scaring the girl. How? Alice asks, and Electra shakes off the glass in the blood, explaining that Mary needed her to die. So she stopped her breathing in her heart and gave Mary what she wanted. The girl begins to cry as she rushes forward, hugging this new daredevil. I'm sorry, she whispers to her. And there you have it, the Daredevil crossover that took place during the Chip Zdarsky run. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Next Friday, we're going to be bringing you the next part of Daredevil, where you're going to get to see Elektra as Daredevil. So you get to see the new Daredevil do Daredevil things. Thank you so much for your continued support, and I'll catch you guys next time right here at the Comic Story and Channel.